Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to rebuild uh, old General Motors starter, you know, for your old Chevelles and GTOs and 442s and Buick Skylarks, uh, Impalas, all the old cars. These are not for the new cars. This is an old GM starter. Okay, I already took it apart and cleaned it all up, and now I'm going to show you how to take it apart and show you all the components inside and how they fit together and what you need to do to make it work again. Okay, so first take the two screws out of it. You take the cover off and... These two washers in the front, they're a fiber. They come off of there, right? Then you pull this apart and you wiggle the tail housing off, okay? You got your Bendix here. This is what goes in and out when you crank the key, okay? Now, pull this out. This is your armature, okay? And this is your housing with your brushes, okay? Those are your brushes right here and inside those are your fields, okay? That's what makes the magnetic field with the armature when it spins, okay? You clean everything up. This usually gets gunked up real good with oil, grease, clutch dust, dirt, and you have it, and it doesn't want to move. It's just, and it just doesn't move. So clean all this up with brake cleaner, a solvent tank, whatever you need to do. Make it work, okay? Then take your little screwdriver, okay? And you gotta go in between, in between this field right here, okay? You gotta scrape each one of them, okay? Till you get an indentation and they're not touching each other. And you keep going, okay? Here, I'll show you, show you a better, better shot of it, okay? You gotta go in between here and scrape each one all the way around, which I already did. You don't want that copper touching each other. There's a little washer on the end of this right here, okay? Don't lose this, okay? You wanna put some grease in there and put it back on. Get a little bit of grease, stuff it down in there. Put your little washer back on. Make sure it spins good. Now, take a little bit of grease and put it on the tip. Take a screwdriver. This is your snout at the very the front cover. Take a little screwdriver, put some grease right in there. Put some on the front. First thing you need to do is take your tail housing, push the solenoid lever in, and wiggle this through until wiggle this through until you get it in the Bendix, and then slide it right into the tail. Okay? So this works and moves the Bendix back and forth. Now, take your housing, put it on, and line up this tab where your solenoid is going to go. You got to spread these brushes out. You got to spread these brushes out until it all falls into place.
and then it locks in. And it'll look like that. Okay? Now, you put your fiber washers on. Put a dab of grease around there. Now, you'll see two areas where you can slide your bolts at the top and at the bottom. So you line up your front cover with those holes. three-eighths, give it a good snug, okay, now, your starter is back together, and your solenoid Bendix works properly, now, let's move on to your solenoid, okay, you take your solenoid apart, okay, and you look on the inside, and you'll see this little copper tab, okay? Loosen up this nut. And then you see that burn spot on there. Take it and turn it completely around 180. So now the clean spot is at the bottom. And tighten it back down. Now, pull this disc out of here, all right? And as you can see, this is all burnt, all right? Now, when you squeeze it down, you can pull this little clip out, okay? Take your washer off, and now you wanna take the disc and turn it over to the new side, which is nice and new and clean. Squeeze it down, and put your clip back in. There is a spring that goes on top. You want to make sure that goes in there. Okay. Now, you put that back in. You put this back on top. And everything fits nicely. And you put your screws, put your screws back in. Make sure everything is seated properly. Original GM stuff is 11 30 seconds. It's not 3 8 or 5 16 When you remove the cover, you only need to undo the nut on the S terminal. The R terminal is connected to a wire on the inside. Take your 5 8 nut, put it on there like so. Tighten that down, tighten that down, double check everything. Now, you have this spring that goes on here. Now, you can see this tab that sticks out at the bottom, okay? You have to 
slide this in, the solenoid, and twist it in there, okay? You see that? Okay, just like this. Slide it in. Take your mounting screws. Original GM mounting screws were flathead. So you need a big flathead. Rebuilt stuff comes with either Phillips or a 5 16 or 3 8 head. So make sure they're tight. And don't forget your little screw, your little 5 16 head that goes into the front of the solenoid. go now most likely this thing will operate a lot better because it was filled with grease grease clutch dust dirt oil everything else and it's all gummed up and it would hardly even spin so let's give this a shot with the battery charger mm -hmm. The crank mechanism is on the S starter, on the S terminal for start. So you take your starter button, hook it up to the S terminal to positive, ground it, turn this on. Look at that. Now, see how that Bendix pops out? This thing wants to torque itself over by itself. Seems to work pretty good now. And all I did was clean it up and flip the disc in the solenoid. And your starter will most likely work better than it ever did. And that's how you take apart a starter and put it back together on your GM cars. Have a good day. I'm Jesse from the Blacktop Shop. And there's your hot rod tip of the day.